afternoon, everyone. Thank you for this opportunity, the privilege of being here uh, for the five minutes today. First, I wish to greet everyone a uh, happy International Workers Day. Uh, I'm from the Philippine Workers Sustainable Office. I'm the labor attaché of the Philippine Embassy. We work very closely with the Ministry of Administrative Development and Labor Social Affairs. In fact, it's a day-to-day -day engagement. We are uh, happy that we are always being consulted. We have uh, had several meetings and consultations uh, with the concept of the reforms. Uh, on the uh, referring to reforms, on the Labor Dispute uh, Committee, a high-level delegation from the Philippines uh, visited Qatar three times uh, for the past uh, three years. And uh, the, we had the opportunity of also uh, looking into the process and uh, comparing to our processes also in the Philippines, we discussed uh, uh, coming into a uh, event where a team from the Philippines and a team from Qatar can uh, visit each other and uh, look into best practices. But there are a lot of cases that are being uh, processed and we're happy for that. We also we were also asked about our suggestions. One of the recent suggestions that we made, which was received uh, very well by uh, the Ministry, is we know that the cases of the labor dispute are treated uh, uh, in, in an individual basis. And we suggested that uh, some of the cases be treated as a group, uh, like uh, per company which are similarly situated, which will actually facilitate and fast track the a resolution of cases and it was received very well and we were very well discussing it. Of course, not to override the laws because uh, there are Qatar guidelines which require treatment of cases uh, individually, especially on the computation of uh, benefits, the computation of uh, paid salaries. But if we could uh, approach certain cases like in uh, through a group, it will facilitate that it was received very well. It's actually a suggestion of our ambassador uh, during one of the bilateral uh, talks. We, we are very excited with the visa support services. Uh, so the centers were already open for some countries and we really look forward to this. And we see, it's very, we see the benefits of this. A delegation from Qatar visited the Philippines in February and when it was received by the Philippine Overseas Employment Administration, we see the benefits of the center and uh, we're actually pushing for a car to put up the center in the Philippines soonest. But we went ahead and put it in other countries, so we want it to be first. But, uh, the benefits of the center is uh, not only the facility of uh, the facility of um, medical examinations, biometrics, issuing the necessary documents, but the biggest benefit is uh, it will, uh, it will uh, address the change of contracts. The, the, we agreed that whatever contracts signed in the business center will not be changed. The, the terms of the reconciling terms and benefits will not be reduced. And this is a very, this is one of the, the best uh, uh, projects or programs of, of the of the world. We, we, Another one is on the domestic workers' law. Now, uh, now the uh, domestic workers are now entitled to gratuity. There's a, there's a, uh, uh, the meaning uh, ours. They're now entitled to a rest day and a week. And this is, uh, this is, uh, it, it has, uh, uh, we, we didn't expect this to, to happen, it has, it has happened. Of course, there are, uh, the progress, there is progress and there are many challenges and we want to help, we want to be, we want to be the, uh, the strong partner of the, of Qatar in these reforms. And we are happy that the engagement is almost daily, it's, it's every day. We, we are happy that we can text, we can email every day and uh, we can call, uh, the officials of the ministry to address even particular cases. Thank you. Uh, earlier, I forgot to mention that uh, on the transfer of employment, uh, we, we were suggesting or we suggested if we could have 
a job fair uh, for for uh, in Qatar for workers who who either lost their jobs or who completed their contracts and want to transfer. Uh, if we can have a job match, because I we know that there are also employers and companies who would like to get uh, uh, workers, and uh, maybe it's not just get workers. Uh, from uh, overseas, maybe those who finish their contracts here, maybe uh, under the under the ministry, we could have a job fair or a job match section in the ministry to facilitate the transfer of employment. Transfer of employment that would be one uh, one engagement.